everyone, it's Tatiana, Plant Mama at NYC. And I'm outside on my balcony right now because I'm dealing with some pests and I don't want to be inside. Hopefully you guys can hear me fine. There is some traffic outside and on the streets and there's literally a car going by right now. So hopefully it doesn't pick up too much of that sound and you can still hear me. But hi, how is everyone doing? I am following up on my fungus gnat video where I repotted a couple of my plants. At the very end, after I finished repotting two plants that I thought were the biggest source of my fungus gnats, I immediately saw this plant, my Buddhist pine, and saw that it was covered in the little silvery fungus gnats. I then chose to wrap it up in a plastic bag because I didn't want it to spread to other plants essentially and I was like, maybe I can suffocate them, I don't really know. I don't think I suffocated them because there is like still some air going on and I swear I saw something like flying when I was looking at it. But anyway, I'm out here because I want to open it up, see what comes out, I'm kind of scared, and then just repot it with fresh soil and kind of deal with it the same way that I dealt with the other ones. Let's open the bag and see what we have. I'm kind of terrified, to be honest, because I feel like things are gonna fly out and I'm like kind of grossed out, which is why I'm outside, because at least they'll fly out here. Okay. Okay. It's definitely interesting. So <laughs> nothing flew out, really. I do see things crawling around, so they're still alive. I also see a little bit of white fuzz, like mold on the top of the plant, which is, I mean, it's fine. I'm going to dump all of this soil anyway and give it some fresh soil. And I also have to wash out the pot. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing where I, I have a bag down here and I'm going to dump the soil. I'm like grossed out by this. It's kind of gross. Ah! Wow. The roots are kind of impressive. Can you guys see? Sort of. So it's actually really, really good to see all these roots here. There's tons of new growth, which I really love. And it looks like this kind of root that was at the top is like kind of useless and dead now. So I'm going to shake off into this bag as much of this soil as possible because it could all be covered in those kind of fly eggs and whatnot. Wow, look, it actually came off pretty well. It's giving it a good shake. It's beautiful. If you can say the word gorgeous about this, I will. What I had originally was this like brown, kind of thicker branch. That was the roots I had. And it's grown all of these new white roots, which is super cool and super impressive. So I'm actually gonna go inside, give this a good rinse, and then I will come back out here. Of course, I'm giving this a good rinse too, that the pot that it was in. And I'm going to repot this cutie up. I am back. Look at these roots. These are probably some of the healthiest looking roots I've seen on my plants in a while. Not saying anything bad about my other plants, maybe more about my plant parenting, but these look super, super good. They're all clean. I got all the dirt off of that that would have any eggs or anything like that. And the pot is also clean. So let's just repot. How about them apples? I actually have an assistant here. <laughs> my boyfriend who is not talking. I'm camera shy. He's camera shy. This pot has drainage holes. Getting dirt everywhere. I might just dump it a bit in here. I filled it up about halfway. 
this plant again was something that I got in Florida. I'm wondering if I should maybe do a little less soil and like kind of bury this part under the, the soil because before it wasn't and it hasn't grown any roots, but I do see like a little, little, little bit of growth there. So I'm gonna give it a little more space to grow roots. Hopefully I can cover it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Assistant, do you mind holding this up just straight so I can put soil? Leaves. This one was another one that has had a lot of fungus gnats, I guess, but the plant still looks pretty healthy, which is what I was saying in my previous video where they're not the worst pests that you could have. Like if you have them, it is really a nuisance, but they're not causing a lot of harm or damage to the plants, which is good, at least in my experience. But my boyfriend hates them. He says they always end up in his water glass. And I'm like, well, this is a really good method of, of killing them, I guess, because they're going into the water and drowning. I obviously see it that way. He sees it another way. I'm kind of getting dirt everywhere, so I'm glad I'm outside. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the root away that has broken. is dead. I'm pretty much going to finish up this bag of soil I have on this plant, but not to worry at all. I have a storage closet with like 50 quarts of soil in it. And there we have it. Repotted Buddha's pine with fresh soil. I'm gonna give it some water to help acclimate it to the new soil and hopefully we'll be fungus gnat free from here on out. I swear by it. All right, thanks for watching this video. Bye.